behind. One piece of hand luggage each and keep it light. Should have plastered the annex by now. I reckon this riot's cost me two days. No point worrying about things you can't control, Dan. I hope it's over shortly. This game's cost me 300 pounds, though. Or... I'll raise you a tenner. Bollocks. He's bluffing. Pay to find out. Can I get through to Brenda? Why would you want to? What? Well, I mean, ringing her now of all times, what are you going to say to her? Hiya, love. Just thought I'd give you a call. We're all under siege here, surrounded by bloodthirsty, machete-wielding insurgents. How are things in Jasmine's? Don't live in Jasmine? Moxie's right, man. You're just going to put the wind up a knickers. Pressure is mounting for the president to resign and prevent further bloodshed in a conflict that has already killed dozens of people and paralyzed the capital. Oh, my God. What did I say from the outset? I said Africa's a no-no, didn't I? Oh, uh, you did, buddy, and more than once since we got here. South Africa, possibly. Cape Town, yes. All those golden beaches and jet skis, but you don't touch the middle. Killer ants, infected monkeys, armed insurgents. Well, while attending on us, we ain't done nothing. Residual resentment, mate. I still see Brits as neo-colonialists. Ah, storm at him as she gets you on the telly, doesn't it? There'll be some wild-eyed bollock with an ear K-47 out there talking to the world's media. Charmless. Now they're chucking Molotov cocktails. Tell them I want mine on the rocks. Scramble, lads. Grab only what you can carry. We're mustering in the conference centre. What's happening exactly? Evac, local militia bringing in choppers. Evac? Choppers? Very black hawks out. I'll bring the deck then. Pretty long way back. What, is it getting ugly out there? They're trying to ram the perimeter wall with a big garbage truck. They'll never get through that, man. We built it. <laughs> well, might not see you again, Hazel. Are you sorry? Oh, yes. I mean, you've always been very civil. You know, and, well, I quite like you. When you first got here, I thought you fancied me. Did you? And the way you looked at me. Couldn't wait to get me under the sheets, I thought. <laughs> Mosquito net, you mean? <laughs> Whatever. What held you back? What, you mean you would have been up for it? <laughs> Big strapping Geordie. Single, horny, uncomplicated. Just what a girl needs in a secretarial shit all. Ah, but you're the ambassador's PA. I mean, we're moving different circles, didn't we? You're upstairs with the sherry and the serviettes. I'm out in the yard laying bricks. We're in the same building, Oz. Too late now, pet. Is it? Is that all you bought, Barry? Yeah, just the essentials. Toothbrush and dysentery pills. I've never been up in a chopper before. And then a hot air balloon once with Brenda and the girls. We're going up to look at Bamber Castle, but wind changed. They make an emergency landing at Morpeth Mental Hospital. I just hope the wind doesn't change the day, eh? Like this make you think about life, doesn't it? Think about what might have been. Should have done this, should have done that. Should have taken this turn, should have taken that turn. The perimeter wall's been breached. Should have used rebar names. Pull your people together, Patterson. Almost. Get your skates, so 
Oh, we're on the first chopper. That was an accident. Oh. I'll get the second one. Sorry to bother you, the old mate. It's just old mate Oz. He should have been here by now. Osborne. He arrives today, remember? Shit. Well, I forgot to do a transport to pick him up. <laughs> oh, dear. He's not going to be very happy after flying off here around the world. Oh, look, just tell him I'm a beer. It'll take more than one, pet. Sorry, pal, I should have been somewhere there to meet you now, but there was a bit of a cock up. Oh, bloody outrage, the distance I've come. I've got any local shitters neither, whatever they are. Kip, precious little of that on the aeroplane. No, no, that's the local money. It's all right, I'll sort it, don't we? How's the, uh... How are you feeling, Lee? Well, not too clever, Nev. Haven't packed a mac neither. Is this a rainy season? Aye, it's been raining for about a month. A month? When's it due to stop? Another month. Well, how are then the lads will be pleased to see you? Aye. Hold on. What's that? What? That picture over there with the shield and the kangaroo and the ostrich on. Uh, that, that's an emu, actually. This is the Australian embassy. We don't have one in Laos. Well, what are we doing here? Come on, it's a comment. Well, what? It's like a loan. You know, the Brits are doing them some reciprocal favour. What, we are taking all this from Australians? Let's get inside, eh? Thank you. So you saw? Well, me arse is. Yes. I bet I. Did you lie down all the way, like? Hey, hey! Check five is here. Two more, mate! Hey, 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 Oz! It's good to see you, man. Sight for sore eyes. Is this all you've done? I can't say I've been missed. Well, I've been a bit short time, you know, you've been away, aren't you, bummer? Is he still in Arizona? Aye, family stuff, you know. Feeling good, Oz. Sit up. Well, not really, Moxie, no. It's a bloody rough flight from London, yeah. you just got to sit there for 14 hours. After the operation and everything. Aye. <laughs> Look at... I'm sure you all had a bloody good luck when you heard I'd taken half a ton of shrapnel up me arse. <laughs> but I don't particularly want to hear any more about it, all right? That's some shrapnel jokes, like. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Was it worth it? Was what worth it? You know, man, a shag in the cupboard. <sighs> a week in the hospital, a month's physiotherapy and a pulverised rectum. On balance, I didn't think it was. But you're all healed up in that, no way. Someone is a pound. The doctors did a fantastic job cracking. In fact, look at. Oh, oh, oh hey, there's oh, Arnie. Put away, oh, well, man. Can you put that away? I've just had my lunch. Naomi, this is yours. Yeah, I guessed. This is some sort of ritual you all do when you get back together again, is it? No. Yeah, Oz was just showing us his scars. He uh, got these injuries in Africa on our last job. Dangerous work, Brick Lane. <laughs> Who are you? Naomi Hedges. She's the site manager. Hey, I'm sorry about cock up with your pick up. You mean more gut as a woman? Well, yeah, you got a problem with that sport? No, no, as long as you're not going to put the dumper on farting and belching and swearing and telling the occasional filthy joke. Well, maybe you could tell me a couple I haven't heard before. Yeah. 
she's a feisty lassie, like, I'll give her that. Has anybody shagged her? Nah, she's married us. Oh, spoken like a young. What's the local tuggy like? Ah, oh, mate, they're beautiful, but off limits. This town's a total recreational zero, unless you like temples. <laughs> And this is us. Barry thinks it's very zen. What, you mean nowhere to sit? Uh, uh, what's that? Yeah, there's a few of them about. Uh, they don't bother you. Do they not? Well, they do bother you, but they're not fatal. And uh, they only come out when it's raining. I'll catch you later. Barry. Boston to see you, mate. Oh, shit. What time is it? Almost six. I thought I'd better wake you up. Wouldn't sleep tonight, else. Have the lads not knocked off yet? Any minute. Do you want to be here? No. I won't get you one, then. Cheers. It's a local, bro. It's not half bad. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Aye. So, whereabouts are we exactly, buddy? I don't even know what country I'm in. Ah, you're in Laos, us. To the west, across the Mekong River, Thailand, Cambodia to the south, Vietnam to the east. Well, I mean, reckons it's a pretty enough place. Depends what you're looking for, I suppose. Well, you know what I'm looking for. Yeah, and look at the trouble it's got you into. How is the uh, posterior? Tender. What, what actually happened, uh, Oz? I mean, the reports are a bit sketchy. The mob got hold of a couple of mortars, blew the bloody roof off. So I threw myself on top of the lass. Very gallant. It was, aye. But it meant me Jaxie took the brunt of that explosion. Nay, thanks, I got mine. Nay, mentioning dispatches or uh, will be ye for when I got yem. I shall imagine it's put a bit of a dampener on your sexual activities. Well, Wyman well, I mean, reckons there's not much leg over here to begin with. There's a bit of a do tonight at the embassy. Ah. Well, that'll be a barbie. Will it then be an Aussies? Mm, I think it might be a bit more cultural than that, actually. But it'll be a blast, though. <laughs> you all right? I forgot me inflatable cushion. I forgot my earplugs. I murdered a smoke, lad. Is this sort of thing compulsory? It's just courtesy of us. It's only once a week. What you doing for next week? The art of gold thread embroidery. Enactment of the warlike ceremony of the Kimu people. I thought as much. Who's the bird talking to Moxie? Oh, hi there. Quite pally, actually. Her name's Elena. Visa section. Seems like a nice woman. And she fancies Moxie. I'd have paired off in the ping pong tournament, eh? The rich defend. The ancient name for Laos was Lang Zang. Means a million elephants. So on New Year's Eve, do you think they sing old Lang Zang? <laughs> you crack me up, you do. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
here, Moxie. What? You and the Australian boiler. How's that good? Oh, very well, yeah. You see, some men are born seducers like you was. I've always been a blunderer. For the first time in my life, I'm following the right courtship circuits. You've read that somewhere. I have, yeah. Scientists learned it from fruit flies. Fruit flies? Yeah. They follow this complex ritual, and if they deviate from it, they don't get to mate. Lovely, this. Oh, sure. Bummer. Wow, you boys are really going for it. Anyone would think you want to get out of here. Four. Oh, I can't wait, Pet. I've been here a fortnight. It feels like six bloody months. Yeah, well, before you go, I still reckon we should take you on at some kind of contest, given the sporting rivalry between our two great nations. What do you have in mind? Well, I've made a list here. Seven aside rugby, five aside soccer, cycling, swimming, volleyball, basketball, rowing or track and field. It's your choice, boys. Dominoes. <laughs> Come on, mate. You gotta put a little bit more into it than that, you know. Give us some thought. Two hundred quid to the winners. Great. No, I all right. I'll buy her own the drinks while first night in Bangkok. Oh, you want to stay away from those flesh pots, boys? They'll get you in all sorts of trouble. That's the general idea, Naomi. <laughs> hey, I've heard it's full on down here, you know? Rampant. Uh, rampant with what? Naked bar girls riding on poles. Well, I don't think it's exclusively poles they ride on there, but I'd like to think they do a bit of riding on Brits, eh? <laughs> well, we deserve it after what we've been through, eh? Four jet back to an English winter, bit of recreation. Good more recreation sorted out, thank you very much. A trip on the Eastern Orient Express. Send me right down to the ground, that will, for the gracious living. How much is that? Well, it ain't cheap, now. So, it's the Orient Express. Uh, no, it's just, sounds very tempting. Mystery and intrigue, with a hint of sexual promise. Black stockinged women with long cigarette hours. Is that in the brochure? Why would you want to cuss it yourself on a train full of knobs in monkey suits? Because if you remember us, I was a person of substance once. A man of taste and refinement. Before my life went down the shit aisle. I think I'd just like to remind myself of the man I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. I needed that. Yeah, we picked a sport yet for when we take on the Aussies. Know that they've suggested you've seen the size of them. Oh, they just want an excuse to humiliate us. It's a national obsession with them. I wouldn't want it to be table tennis. Why not? You're a dab hand at that. I know, but I was Elena's partner, wasn't I? If I had to play against her, I'd feel very conflicted. I'd find myself holding back on my spin save. Getting serious, right, is it? Put it like this, Dan. I wouldn't want to be on opposite sides of the net. Well, at least ping pong's indoors. One thing I could always do was drink like. That's not a sport, then. It's a recreation. Challenge to the manhood. You really fancy this train business, eh? Huh? I do, Oz. Yeah. Three days, two nights, Bangkok to Chiang Mai. Do you not have to get all tarted up for it? No problem, oh. Bangkok's knockoff city, isn't it? Couple of fake Prada suits, some phony Gucci luggage. Well, look, the bees nice. We? Oui. What? You just said we, buddy. Have you been chatting up some Australian boiler? No. No? Well, there's something you're not telling us. Between ourselves, like. Yeah. As always. When I got back to the UK from Africa, I got a call from Tatiana. Oh, from Russia. I'll bet you reversed the charges. Now she's in the UK now. She's a beauty therapist in a fat farm just outside Godalming. 
Be right, she wanted to have a chat. Feelings of remorse, etc., etc., you know. So you went round there? Yeah, they, they, they did a special midweek deal. Yeah, Tuesday to Friday, half price. I lost six pounds, actually, on a revolting diet of yoghurt and wheatgrass. My trousers were... Cut the ditches. What? Yeah, we had some hard to hearts. Expressions of regret. Some tears. Did you slip out of length? Oh, plays. Well, did you? Yes, I did, actually. Yeah. On the last night in her room next to the colonic wing. Ooh, how romantic. It was. It was very passionate. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, we kept in touch. And a couple of weeks ago, she suggested when work was finished here, we should go on a vacation together. Hence, the Orient Express. She hurt you really bad, you know, buddy. Can you not remember? Yeah, I know. People change, don't they? You know, they move on. Hopefully. I wish you were coming with me. No, that would be nice. If only you had a lady friend of your own. Oh, I couldn't shag on a moving train. Not what is yours. I fancy what I had the first time we come here. Reminded us of a chow mein I once had in Darlington, but I cannot remember the number. It's pictures us. Them didn't tell you out. Them look like bypass operations. I'm sick to death of noodles, me. Tell you what, as soon as I get to them, classic English meal for me. What's that then, then? Pizza or kebabs? <laughs> Either. As long as there's chips with it. Well, down with a pint of Valpolla cheddar, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be Brenda. There, aye. Oh, great pet. No, 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 it's a good time. Yeah, we'll just get more dinners. How's things? Some things never change, eh? No matter where we are in the world, Cape of Good Hope, top of Mount Everest, Brenda will always get through. No mobile phones when we started young, you know? No. No text messaging, no uh, emails, no video games either. You guys been at this a long time, ain't you? Aye, since Jesus played left back for Bethlehem United. <laughs> Aye, that's right, us. But for one of us, I'm afraid, it's time to call the deer. Is he talking about? Bomber. He's not coming back. He wrote us a letter. He said he cannot keep dragging his ass around the planet, you know. He's found a reason to stay home. Two of them. And the boy, he's 13 now. Well, it won't be the same, Lord Bomber. Yeah. He's been on board since day one. Well, he got a second chance, didn't he? Huh? Family? Roots? I mean, relationships change things, you know. Brenda sends her love. She's fine, she's... What did I miss? <laughs> Den's just dropped a bombshell, Nev. Bomber's jacking it in and he ain't coming back. Are you serious? He is, I. He says, if I pick up a hammer and a saw again, it'll be to build a shed at the back of the house. Every Englishman should have a shed, even if it's in the middle of Arizona. I want you to read this letter to the lads when you're all in a the bar. Then I want you to drink to the past and to the future. Here's to him, huh? Here's to you, Bomb. Bomber, God bless him. Bomber. You lucky kid. Aye, I suppose so. might be an appropriate time to say that I've been having similar thoughts myself. About building a shed? No. About calling it a day. What? Well, you know I've been seeing a bit of this Elena from the visa section. The ping pong tour, aye, what about it? Oh, they've got a thing going on. Even people of our age can be headstrong and impulsive. For Cupid's arrow to find its mark. Oh, look what Cupid's arrow did for you. Cost you your health, your house, and your money. We're not talking about me, are we? Oh, we're not? No, we're talking about me. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, over the weeks, our relationship's burgeoned. She's the first woman to show an interest in me, as a man. 
He draws me out of myself. Is that wise, Mox? Shut up, I am being serious. Anyway, she's taking a spot of leave and she's got this condo down in Brisbane. Said I could stay with her. And I'd love to see Australia. We're halfway there after all. Oh, sounds a good idea, Mox. We could all use a break after this gig. Uh, it might be more than that. I think I've reached that point where I want to park me trowel. Well, can you not just shag her here and save yourself the oh, trip? I don't think that's what he meant. It's not, no. I'm talking about putting down roots, like Bomber. Hell's bollocks, and then there was five. Ready to order? Nice work, lads. You've earned the undying gratitude of the Commonwealth of Australia. And I'm sure you'll appreciate how difficult it is for me to say that to a bunch of whinging bombs. Fair dues. We only mentioned the Rugby World Cup about a dozen times. We'll see if we can extract suitable revenge tonight. You blokes decided what sport you're going for? Boozer's bullseye. New one on me. I want to kick off at 8 o'clock. Right here, mate. See you then. Thanks, guys. Thanks again. Let's go. Good job, Naomi. Thanks, mate. No worries, mate. Hey, I'm coming with you. I've got a ticket for the Orient Express. Have you? Hiya. Oh, yeah. Got this fax saying they had a cancellation, so I ran it past Brenda. She thinks it's a great idea. I think she'd rather have us on a train with you, Barry, than on the loose in Bangkok with us. <laughs> um. It's okay, isn't it? I thought you'd be, like, glad of the company. He's got company, Nev. Hey? You never said? No, I didn't. No, uh, sorry, Nev. No, but it's true. Yeah, um. Tatiana's coming with me. Tatiana, your ex? Yes, yeah, we've had a sort of uh, rapprochement. Well, so it's like a second honeymoon. Oh, now I feel even more of a wallflower. And it's, it's non refundable. No, no, you, you must come with us. No, no, it'll be fine, honestly. No, we'll be glad to have you, honestly. Well, that's a good idea. You go along. Really? Well, yes, because if she does his head in again, he'll have somebody on board to have a paint with. Yes, thank you, Oz. Yes, that's um, very positive. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the rules are very simple. Around the clock dance. You have to get a one before you move to a two, two before you move to a three, three before a four. After you get to a 20, you've got to get a double. A treble and then a ball to finish. But there's a catch. If you don't score, you have to do one of these. <laughs> Last man standing, is that it? Yeah, old yeah. woman. Um, hey, is it all right if we drink beer chasers? Eh, uh, well, that's optional, pet. Yeah, four cold ones, mate. These people are serious. Well, here we go. Heads. Heads it is. Yeah. Let the games <laughs> come in. Off you go, Cliffy. Can I have one of these first? Very serious. Uh, I'll have one myself as well, just for a steady me nerves. <laughs> You're not drinking, Barry? Ah, oh, no, nah, there's us on an early floor. It doesn't fancy a night of booze, darts, and vomit. Oh, Albert doesn't get too pie eye. <laughs> oh, Moxie, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I would never think of him as Albert. It's always been Moxie to us, always will be. Well, uh, the moment I saw him, I thought he was an Albert. Oh! It's very nice that you two are uh, burgeoning. Hmm. Over the past few weeks, we realised how much we had in common. Like what? Well, as a table tennis, we won the cup. Who gets to keep it? We're still talking about that. <laughs> and I'm teaching him bridge. And we like walks in the rain. Well, there's not much choice out here, is it? Sweet love, sweet Sweet love, Now. 
What am I aiming for? A double Oz anywhere on the board, mate. Uh, which board? Because I can see three. Penalty. There. Yeah. Penalty. Hang in there, Oz. Hang in there, son. Nation's hope rests on your shoulders. Syndrome 1272. 1272, thank you very much. All right, fellas. Hope Bangkok lives up to his reputation. Sit the station then. You lot look like Night of the Living Dead. I feel worse than that, you. Well, should we hit the streets, check out some action? I'm gonna check out the bed. Get some kip. Now, is this just a hangover or the awful knowledge you let your country down last night? You're pushing your look off point. Buddy. Hello, Tatiana. Liz. <laughs> this is, uh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, a good flight over? Fine. And yours? I was a bit bumpy, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Lads are suffering this morning. Yeah, got hammered last night. Not you. No, no, I wanted to be bright eyed and bushy tail for the trip. <laughs> Buddy, do you see any difference? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Put a few pounds on, maybe. But it looks good on you. Never was much of a Cape Moss man. <laughs> I'm carrying your child. Thanks, good car. They're all so friendly. Everyone's smiling. Well, they've got a lot to smile about, haven't they, Mox? Swear it. I'll be back for you later, ladies. Hey, mister! You are mister! $20! Happy ending! Well, here? Not far, the best in Bangkok! No. Come on, come on! You never realised it was so in your face. Well, it's outrageous, isn't it? Hey guys, why don't we just relax and check out one of these bars? Apparently some of these girls do like amazing stunts, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hold your horses, man, it's the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, so? Well, I don't fancy a pubic ping pong ball in the eye. Not in broad daylight. <laughs> you guys got some standards, you know. I like the get up, Nev. 
very Somerset home. The suit will probably crease. I mean, very expensive linen creases, and I only paid 10 quid for this. Neville, no one will ever know that every single thing you're wearing is a fake. Except the underwear. Okay. That's bona fide marks and sparks. Hey, 45 quid for a Rolex. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm very chuffed with my Bulgari, actually. <laughs> what time you got? Yeah, 10 past four. Mine says 20 to one. Oh, bugger. So where's Tatiana? Oh, she's in our state cabin. Um, Nev, um, I just want to have a word before you see her. Fine. Why? Um, she's pregnant. Pregnant? Who's the dad? Me. You? How? The usual way. You haven't been with her in that way for years. I have. Five months ago. One reckless condomless night in Godalming. It checks out to the day, mate. I'm going to be even more in the way than ever. No, no, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to need a mate to talk this through with. Here, here it is. I shouldn't have eaten. Hey, you shouldn't have eaten dumplings from a street store, man. I told you that at the time. Oh, I thought something spicy might perk us up, you know. It usually works. Maybe a boat ride was the wrong idea if you're feeling queasy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What is it? It's a dead dog floating by. Probably just having a swim. That's oh, got all its four legs sticking up in the air, man. Ain't all right, but a carrot never killed anybody. One's Britcher, I think. Uh, another beer, Nev? Uh, why not? So, how do you feel about this news? Well, it's a whole roller coaster of emotion, actually, Nev. Despair, apprehension, anxiety, euphoria. It's a bit like watching England play. Well, I mean, even if you two don't get back together, you're going to be a father, man. You're gonna have a bed? That, that's that's brilliant. I, I, I'm on too old. I mean, how about in a few years' time when I'm picking it up from school? Well, the other kids think I'm his bloody grandfather. Uh, of course not, man. I only had Callista four years ago. Change is part of life, Barry. And, and part of the excitement of life is never knowing what's gonna show up next. It's bells. Tarquin Bloody Pierce? Good Lord. Neville Hope. I know you too, don't I? Um... Barry, Barry Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> do you mind if I join you? Yes, I think we do, actually. So, what happened to you after the Cuban fiasco? Well, it was only a fiasco, Neville, because you stuck your nose in where he wasn't wanted. I thought you'd be in the nick. <laughs> you seem to have landed on your feet, though. Well, having a tarnished reputation isn't the worst thing in the commercial world. Jonathan Aiken's back, teasing the headlines. Archer still gets a good table at the Ivy. Charlie Brockett, well, he's a national treasure since he went to the jungle with Johnny Rotten. Yeah, but you're not a public figure. You're a spy who betrayed his country. Neville, please, don't be so... Daily Mail. obviously done terribly well. How do you mean? Well, look where we are. This is hardly the works outing to Cleethorpes. Nice suit, Neville. I didn't know it was a knockoff. Neville, good to see you. 
Do you still hate me? I hope not. Things are now different. I, I can see that. <laughs> Huggy bear. Mm. Mm. And who is this? Tarquin, uh, Tarquin Pierce. I'm Tatiana, Buddy's wife. Ex-wife. Who knows? <laughs> So, you have just met? No, he was with us at the embassy in Cuba. He was a spy. So, you're Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> Closely related. <laughs> no, he isn't. He's a traitor and a scoundrel. Really? Oh, I can't wait to hear all your stories. You must have dinner with us. Uh, delighted. Very true, I would it's full of Arsenal, you know. Mill Mill, bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> Some champion boilers in here, mate. Yeah? Maybe this is just a sport ball. <laughs> I'm very tempted. But would it constitute infidelity with Elena like? Aye. On the other hand, it helps the economy, doesn't it? Because most of the girls come from our country and they send the money back to their families. Would that assuage me, girls? No. No, no, you're right. Thank goodness our hotel's got a karaoke bar. You are not going out? Phew. What after them double dodgy dumplings this afternoon? I'm not venturing too far from that bog. Well, I'm cutting out with these dudes I met. I know one of them from London. Small world, isn't it? Anyway, listen, feel better. Catch you later. See you on. Yeah, see you, mate. Hey, you'll be the next one for the walk. It's only natural. Money needs to be with people his own age. Oh, you sound like his mother. No, why, Mitch's mother? I wonder how Barry's getting on. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll be shoveling the caviar, dude, now. No, I mean with his ex. Because if you hoops up with Tatiana again, he won't want to be back on the tools, will he? He wouldn't leave her at home with the milking. You realise what's happened then, don't you? It's over. It's all over. What's all over? The team, the outfit, the chaps, whatever you want to call it. Us. Well, things change, man. He pointing my on your arse about it. Yeah, you'll always get work. You're missing the point, man. I'm not talking about the graft. I'm not even talking about the cash. I'm talking about. What we had between us. We are. The lads is history. some mystery assignment. <laughs> Not much of a mystery, I'm afraid, just business. I'm in bed with some people who have a project in the north for some Thai money, bank in Malaysia. What sort of project? Hotel and spa for the uh, connoisseur. I work at a place like that. Really? Yes. I'm a beauty therapist. You should try my shiatsu. People always ask for me again. I'm sure they do, Tatiana. So, uh, um, where exactly uh, uh, is this uh, place? Where... Just north of Chiang Mai. A little opposition from local hill tribes. Some uh, Hmong bandits are kicking up a fuss, but uh, nothing a decent bang shouldn't sort out. Bonging would be your speciality, I suppose. <laughs> it should be spiritual. Good for the soul as well as body. Absolutely. In this day and age, you can't get away with giving hunters just a posh bathrobe and a five-star chef. They want yoga classes, meditation rooms. Our base will be more Deepak Chopra than Michael Winner. Is it built? Not yet. 
Oh, angling for a bid, are you, Neville? No way. None of us would trust you again as far as we could spit. You were obviously a very bad boy. <laughs> Never denied it. It wasn't just nicking petty cash and seducing typists. Although he did his fair share of that, what well, I've heard. You strung me along. You fed me a pack of lies. You even had me abducted. Excuse me? Lobster and caviar? Enjoy your meal? Boys, let's try to get priorities right. Do you see? We're civilized people eating beluga and lobster on the world's most romantic train. This is more important than some silly history between you. Well said, Tatiana. Now, um, should we do another one of these, or um, would you prefer a Montrachet? Yeah. Hey, sound like a new man, pal. Feel like one this morning, then. Oh, is that alive? I'm not sure. God knows what he got up to last night. Got a couple of options this afternoon. The snake farm or a crocodile ranch. Oh, you can forget that. I've had a word with the concierge and I'll tell you where we're going up with had a bit. A bathhouse. I've had a bath. Oh, oh. Not like this, you haven't. And there's no trees, you bullet. This is an upmarket VIP establishment. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Listen, down at my age, I've no intention of joining the legion of sleazy punters trolling the bars of Bangkok. This is a therapeutic spa. Not quite what I had in mind. I mean, we come all the way to Bangkok for what? A pedicure. It's better than that, kid. They've got beautiful women what walk up and down on your back. Do they take their shoes off first? Oh, look, there's some souvenirs. That looks a bit bolting, isn't it? Ah, look. What a surprise running across you chaps. I, um, I hope last night healed a few wounds. Well, the champagne was very gracious, Tarquin. Thank you very much. What are your plans? Taking one of the tours? No. Barry's seen somewhere else in the guidebook. Um, uh, how much are these? Uh, it's a revered shrine. Oh, the, uh, Wat Doi Suket. Spectacular murals. Ah. Tatiana, it's been an absolute joy. My card. Do keep in touch. Once we're up and running, who knows? You might bring your shiatsu gifts to our establishment. It should be raising a child. She won't be able to, thank you. Oh, he's with me so possessive. <laughs> To live. Yeah, here we are. Oh, thank you, darling. Two hundred, was it? Two? Two, not one, two. I'm not sure you should risk those steps, Tatiana, actually. Uh, uh, maybe we should just explore the gardens, eh? We should have a hat. Oh, here. Take this. No, I'm fine, fine, yeah, mate. No, no, I'm going to buy some souvenirs for Brenda and the girl. Oh, jeez. Off a bit. Just like old times, huh? I don't recall us ever visiting a Buddhist temple, Tatiana. Temple to fashion, maybe, or shrine to haute couture. <laughs> <laughs> Barishka, how do you feel about us? Well, I don't know, Tatiana. I mean, Flirting's a way of life with you, isn't it? I mean, look at you last night with Tarquin. I was just trying to make nice for all of you. Well, I'm not rushing anything. Not until I've seen me shrink in the UK. What? You, you, you talk about me to that person? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. You know the reason I go? I mean, I just managed to sever the tie to codependency, and you turn up with a bun in the oven. Oh, what a bun, buddy. I need, I need some time, Tatiana. That's, I'm sorry. 
Look, I know, I know you came through for me, but being in that Russian nick was my darkest hour. Well, no, it was a Cuban one, maybe. And then again, Arizona was no picnic, but... How does this always happen to you? You go somewhere, you get locked up. I've asked myself a million times, Tatiana. Buddy. <laughs> good there. Good there is good background. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, it's no good. Wait there, I change film. Buddy. Howdy, Club. Do you want a big bird or together? Yeah. No, no, no. I'd rather have a bit of privacy, you know. I'd like, I'd like a real strong massage. You know. Right. Well, I've had a lot of lower back pain, man. I'm like... Do there is a changing rooms, props for you and the flip flop. Flip flops. This is the business. We cannot leave without him. We have to go. I'm sorry. If it go, it go without us. No. เดี๋ยวกระเป๋าก็ลงที่สถานีรถไฟด้วยนะขอบคุณครับเวลล์วิทรัฟเวลล์เดอะเวิลด์ลิฟต์ในเปิดกราฟต์มาบอลล์ก์ซ์ออฟแล้วเดินเกรดบริกี้ในสกายบอกว่าดีมากครับคุณมีเงินเพิ่มขึ้นที่ขวาเฮ้ยสควอตส์มูร์ดไอ้วินเดลินฟิงเงินเอ๋อส์ไปเลยI don't think it was, kid. No, but now that they're here, it would be churlish to pelt the moot. Bad manners. I hope that's not your hand, Moxie. Quick! Get on the top. What? What for? It's Barry. I think he's been taken hostage by these Hmong bandits. You are? <laughs> well, if they want to ransom, me wallet's in the engine room. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I reckon he's got nabbed. That is the deal. No, they're treating me all right, actually. And we're not leaving until we get you back in count on that. You know price. Bloody hell. Just keep perfectly still. As hot go, I reckon we've hit rock bottom with this one. Hey, 
you got a place and all. Is it nice to the my place? My friends and me, you know, we're not rich men. So... Malach! <laughs> You want to move us? We are still put. I kill you! 